still have uh, until the second half of our morning pushing into our afternoon before we start to see the snowstorm really exit uh, the area for most of us. So we did have this event start during the overnight hours. A lot of us waking up this morning to some beautiful but uh, quite hazardous views if we do have to be out commuting. So plenty of snowfall for us uh, this morning. Some of us seeing uh, about a foot and uh, even our burrows racking up over uh, six inches in some areas. We are expecting to clear out again later today. We have uh, some gusty winds in store for today. Those should start to let up uh, moving into later parts of today, but then they do pick right back up moving into tomorrow, which leaves the second half of our weekend snow free, but feeling a lot cooler. As we roll over into the start of next week, we're expecting that our temperatures will be closer to seasonable and then we have another chance at some more pop up showers by the time we get to the ending of our next work week. Here's a look at our current temperatures and where we're expecting to climb for our highs today. You'll see not much variation here. We're at that freezing mark here in the city. We're expecting to hop into about 35 degrees and that'll be the case uh, for areas north as well as out east where we're expecting to make it into the upper 30s. Portions of the Hudson Valley really struggling to get above that freezing mark for today. As we make our way into tonight again, wanting to remind you that even though the snow will let up, we're going to replace that with some gusty winds out there and our lows for tonight 25 degrees. You'll see some of our suburbs in the teens, but we are expecting to clear out not all the way clear for right now. You'll see where we do have these purple as well as these pinks. Most of it stretching over portions of Jersey, but our boroughs in the island included as well with a winter storm warning, but also a winter storm advisory. You'll see that first band of showers trying its best to move from west out east, and then we do have a little bit uh, of this to get through. I want to bring us out to show you on our future cast what's uh, headed into the rest of today. By that 10 o'clock hour, some of us still dealing with some of those flurries moving across, just as we've seen on our live tower camera there. And then by noon, most of us drawing out. We do still have the chance for some of those uh, scattered uh, flurries moving across the area. But again, moving into our afternoon, things should have cleared out. Not talking much in, for, in, in terms of accumulation getting through the rest of today, maybe about an inch or so more to go across most of the area. Drying out for tomorrow, moving into the start of next week with plenty of sunshine and temperatures continuing to climb from the 30s into the 40s and by the end or excuse me the middle of next week we're expecting to see a 50 or two.